big problem now is, you know, simply plants will be forced to shut down and you're not going to have electricity being produced. And a lot of times it's a very simple part that just you can't get off the shelf nowadays. Now I'm focusing on being able to supply those parts to the industry to make sure nuclear power plants stay online and they stay safe. Uh, these plants would be forced to spend a lot more money to replace entire pieces of equipment when maybe just one small power supply is broken. You know, it, maybe it's only a thousand dollar part, but you're going to spend millions of dollars to put in a brand new system because that one part isn't available. This original power supply is used in a nuclear power plant. That this is from the 1970s. It is obsolete and right now it costs about $70,000 just to have it overhauled. Even if that just means one capacitor. It weighs almost 30 pounds and all the components inside are obsolete. So really this is you know, a high risk power supply that plants do need, but you can't buy. This is my modern replacement that's been designed. This only weighs about five pounds and it's all modern military spec components that are readily available and this entire unit will slide in and form fit and function just like the original and the plant won't even notice a difference. So getting started with SOLIDWORKS PCB was incredibly easy just like regular SOLIDWORKS. About a day and a half after getting my license I was able to actually completely design and send out the manufacturing of PCB. This is an LCD adapter that you know, really just took maybe 24 hours to design. And that was the very first day I had SOLIDWORKS. This is really groundbreaking uh, technology here that taking old chassis and being able to put new technology into it. And right now that's just unheard of in the industry. These two tools work automatically with each other there's no converting, there's nothing. They just click a button and it works. One of the nicest things is that, you know, you can start on one side. You can start designing your electrical board or you can start designing your mechanical chassis and easily switch to the other side and easily just be able to say, yes, this works or no, it doesn't and make your changes and it just updates. And being able to send that data back and forth very quickly saves you a lot of time. And when you're a small business, time is money.